Hey, I'm Mike from World. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt is back, which means more of our favorite funny girl. And gay guy. Let's unbreak the internet with The Monday Mouth Off. Season two of Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt releases April 15th, but the real star of the show is Kimmy's gay best friend, Titus Andromedon. I envy you. I've never been able to meet me. So this week we're saluting the five gay characters you need to watch right the f now, starting with number one, Titus. Played by Broadway veteran Titus Burgess, fans of Tina Fey should recognize him from 30 Rock, where he played flamboyant reality TV star Dwarfwan. Because I'm not just a gay hairdresser, I'm also a homosexual party planner. Tina Fey was so impressed by his performance that she created the role of Titus specifically for him. Now, the beauty of this character is, even though he's supposed to be guiding Kimmy through the perils of modern life, he is just as deluded to reality as she is. Like the time he made a music video. I'm making a music video. It's called Pinot Noir, an ode to black penis. Pinot Noir, mid-sized car. Oh, Pinot Noir. <laughs> Number two, Marceline the Vampire Queen from Adventure Time. Now, at first glance, this animated series seems to be a cute little kid show about a magic kingdom, but in reality, it's a post-apocalyptic earth inhabited by mutants and monsters who, for some reason, talk like hipsters. And it has a strong lesbian storyline. Our vampiric anti-heroine was at one time in a relationship with the other female lead, Princess Bubblegum. It did not end well. You don't like that? Or do you just not like me? Now, admittedly, the L word is never used. That's too distasteful. But it is very, very, very heavily implied. I'm gonna drink the red from your pretty pink face. You kept the shirt I gave you? Yeah, it uh means a lot to me. Number three, Kenny O'Neill from The Real O'Neills. Portrayed by Noah Galvin, Kenny is a 16-year-old boy from Chicago who comes out to his neurotic Irish Catholic family. We've seen the archetypical coming out story before, in the 90s with Ricky from My So-Called Life, and in the early 2000s with Justin from Queer as Folk. The difference is, like all good art, Kenny reflects the evolving world around him. I'm trying to speak for a generation, but it's very hard. The fun of this show is watching this newly hatched gay navigate a world that straddles homophobia and homonormalcy. Like the time he accidentally gay bashed himself. Oh, hey, Kenny. I hear you're a, a fag? What? I know that's what you're all whispering about me. I was gonna say I hear you're running for treasurer. I am. Number four. Captain Holt from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Portrayed by the award-winning Andre Brower, Holt is both gay and African-American. Did I ever tell you what my first day on the job was like? Hello, I'm Raymond Holt. Are you here to turn yourself in? The most refreshing aspect of this character is he's never played stereotypically gay. He's always erudite and dignified and composed to the point of being deadpan, which is often the source of his comedy. I was hula hooping. I've mastered all the moves. The pizza toss, the oopsie doodle. Why are you telling me this? Because no one will ever believe you. No, no. Number five, Elijah from Girls. Portrayed by the adorable Broadway triple threat, Andrew Rannells, Elijah is in no way a role model. I had sex with a guy whose butt this was modeled after. He is selfish and spiteful and flawed, which is great. LGBT culture has finally hit a point where we can show every kind of gay on TV, even the horrible ones. If you could maybe give me an introduction to the Broadway world, that'd be great. I mean, the closest I've gotten is a hand job from a guy from Pippin. And that's our list. But if we miss your favorite queer TV character, Hit us up in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed your Monday mouth off, because my jaw is tired. Thanks for watching. Click here for the top five queer acts of this year's Coachella. Then click here for the gay history of Batman and Superman. And don't forget to click subscribe for more Monday mouth off.